we study materials from their atom and electronic level. You would worry why, I mean, how can I work in a car company because atom is so far away from the cars, right? We have a slogan called atoms to autos. Main projects I'm doing in Michigan State are related to uh, new energies for um, uh, vehicles. Different than most other parts of, on the car, which kind of don't degrade that much when you park there. Battery still degrade when you park there. Um, so a lot of uh, mechanism involves uh, in the chemical mechanical problems associated with the car being sitting there, seeing a higher temperature or running, releasing go in and out of the material, they expand, they contract, um, so um, they can kind of uh, mechanically fail the cracking, uh, and uh, all the things are in, will kind of emerge in uh, electrolyte. So the electrode will be covered by uh, electrolyte. Um, um, and there's uh, like an interface uh, between the electrode uh, and the electrolyte. This interface we call it solid electrolyte interface kind of protects the um, electrode uh, to prevent it for further degradation. Um, so uh, my interest is to uh, figure out uh, how those things kind of interplay inside of the battery. Yeah, I got a lot of help from uh, the staff at uh, ESSER, uh, so they helped me to compile the code, they helped me to kind of build this uh, um, um, talk, dialogue between the interface and the actual um, uh, job running uh, scripts. They also offer other services like uh, uh, backup all the data. And so for NSF, you need a data management plan and they have uh, those services already in place, so I don't need to worry about that.